Howdy friends, on this episode we'll pick up where I left off on the episode before I showed you the resealing of the windows and this is just the front end of the van obviously where the bottom part of the roof cap meets the top of the cab. Um, there have been lots and lots of attempts to reseal it with old caulking and whatever and so I decided just to start fresh so I took all the old caulking off, um, took the metal bracket off and then I just put some die core in there and then put the metal trim back up there it was a pretty pretty daunting little task but we're glad that's there and so hopefully it'll stay weather tight for years to come then we'll go over here to I'd shown you where I was you know wiring in the running lights but we're putting the finishing touches on those and so you can see I put some beetle tape and the screw holes and the, the wire holes so hopefully it'll keep it uh, watertight as well uh, and these few shots will show you that yeah this van does need to be repainted at some point I wanted to do it before I you know finished all these lights and whatnot but I think I just want to get this thing going and we'll we'll tackle the the paint job in a couple years you know it looks okay when you know when you do a pressure washing so it's not all that bad but not great either um, but the back end here you can see there's some bigger holes and lots of screw holes so those lights have been replaced many times with different types so Hopefully these ones here will uh, last a while so I don't have to keep doing that. And I think they look pretty nice. And being that it was coming near the end of summer, I figured it was time to do some uh, mechanical maintenance to the running gear so I can hopefully get this thing moving one of these days. And uh, yeah, that big pile right there is just all road grime and muck and oil that had been collecting on the motor area and the chassis for decades. And um, that's not the only pile. There was probably four piles at least this big that I had scraped from underneath there, which was nice because then it keeps the uh, van from rusting, but at the same time, it's pretty gross. <laughs> but So here's one little quick video showing the uh, motor uh, area before I start working on it. So kind of a before and after. So check this out. So we're in here checking out this beautiful motor. Years of road grime and oil leaks. So we'll try to clean it up and see if we can make it look pretty again. So I took the uh, valve covers off and pressure washed them so you can see the first before. Uh, pretty nasty looking things. And the after, still not that great. The right one looks a little more uh, clean than the other. But, um, you know, to touch, there, you know, there's nothing really, doesn't leave any residue on your hands. So... Um, I should paint them, but I do plan on replacing the motor with a fresh rebuild at some point. So we'll just go with uh, function over form for now and just reseal them and, and have it be good to go. And I hadn't taken a vacation in years, and my dad came up to visit me uh, last summer. And so I decided to follow him down the coast as far as the Redwoods in Northern California. And so this first picture here is just a pretty cool lookout over a... Uh, a lighthouse I believe this is the very northern part of the California coast and then the second one here is just me giving some love to a giant uh, a redwood tree and it's pretty much my favorite place to be I just love going to the avenue of the giants so thought I'd share that with you guys so so back to work here I had shown you a couple shots of the cabinet faces that I'd redone previously but these were the two that had the speakers cut into them so I kind of had to start fresh took the laminate off of both sides and had to cut some new ones in so glue it up on both sides nail them in and since they were new they didn't have the indents for the drawer inset drawer poles so I had to cut those out but funny thing is I found some vintage drawer poles that were you know outset and not inset um, so I end up covering those holes with a little piece of counter or you know, laminate and then screwing the new drawer pulls on there um, so yeah didn't need to do that but I didn't know at the time so uh, you'll get to see the finished product here in the next video I believe so here's a few pictures of the cabinet uh, drawer faces and I'd already painted them but then the blue tape is on there because I was gonna stain the outer trims uh, darker color I think you may have seen one done in the last video, but thought I'd just give you a few more shots of that process. And then I found a update video that I made probably in September, I believe, the start of September, of what I had done up until that point. So 
Here's that coming up. Hope you enjoy it. Howdy y'all. I haven't done a update on the van in quite a while because I've been spending all my time working on my old mobile home. But uh, we're here this weekend. So I thought I'd show you some things that I'd done a little bit of over the summer. So I did start to work on the motor at least so I could um, get the thing moved. I want to bring it down to my property so I can camp on it, camp in it um, at some point soon. So I just have the valve covers off. I just had to take years and years of road grime and oil leaks off the motor. I think you can see the transmission uh, bell housing there. It's um, pretty clean, but it was really nasty and there, there was just oil leaks galore. So cleaned up as best I could. I didn't, I'm gonna replace obviously the oil um, gaskets for the uh, valve covers there. I'm not taking off the manifold for the intake because at some point I'm gonna put an EFI on there. And so all that, I'll take it off then. I just didn't wanna mess with any of the actual mechanicals. So when I put these gaskets back on, I know the engine's gonna run just like it was before. So um, I did have to get a new exhaust manifold on this side because the original one's cracked. This one wasn't so bad. So I'll clean those up, put some new gaskets on there. Uh, the front end of the motor is all taken off. The power steering pump, water pump, alternator uh, AC pump, all that stuff. So we'll clean that up. We'll get that stuff put all back together and then hopefully this thing will run pretty good after I place some uh, the oil pan gaskets and the transmission uh, filter and gasket. So hopefully it'll run good enough to drive it out to my property. But um, so that's all we've been doing there. So we'll get to work finish buttoning that back up here pretty soon. And as far as in here, I finished painting this door a while ago, but where it was sitting, it got some, some marks on it. So once I put it up, I'll touch that up. But yesterday I just lacquered the seam of the door. I didn't want to paint that white because when you're opening and closing it, you know, just rub off. So we'll just keep it with the lacquer layer on it. And I painted most of the cabinet doors a while back. Um, but what I did was I left this stuff unpainted, the, the rim. And so I finally just stained this and lacquered it on all of them uh, this weekend or earlier this week. So that was good to get checked off my list. And I've been working on the countertops. I still have to build a piece that goes around here like this and then make one more piece here. Um, finished, well, you know, finished it as in finished this section of it a while back, lacquered it. Still got to anchor it down. And then this piece is going to be an office desk and it will be, you know, up like this. So we got to figure out how to anchor that in. Excuse me. And this is the electrical box. I did buy some batteries, even though I shouldn't have because they've been sitting around for about a year now. Hopefully they're still good, but I got a good deal on them when I bought my solar uh, panels so I couldn't say no and um, I did actually sleep on this bed the other week pulled it out had a little camp out in my driveway here but what I'm working on right now is yesterday I put the trim in for the bathroom door all around because I had stained those a teak and so we'll put those in. Here's the trim for the outer uh, rim of the door. Took the toilet out a while ago. I can't get that flange, the bolts on it out, but I'm going to put a compost toilet in this section. And there's a little behind that screen, there's a little piece that goes there. And that's just so I can get into the plumbing and the electrical in there. I did replace this fan vent um, this summer. So I'm going to hook that up as well and put, you know, casing back up. I'll be putting a vanity light here, but I'll put the medicine cabinet over there. And what I'm doing here, I do have the hot water heater in here for now, but I think I don't really, you know, I'd have to 
drill this hole bigger or put the hole up here somewhere for this to exhaust out. But what I'm thinking about doing is actually putting the ow, head uh, hot water heater out here and then route the, the lines in from outside. And I want to make it so I can just unhook it and pull the heater off so I don't, you know, it's not out there full time. So I'll just put it out there when I'm traveling or whatnot. And then, um, so it kind of made it a waste that I ended up putting this outdoor shower out here. Although there was like a, a crack in the fiberglass from something there. So, you know, I would have to repair it anyway. So it was just easier to put that. But if I put the hot water heater out here, then, you know, I'd have to route it in under and connect to it there, which, you know, not a big deal. So maybe I'll do it anyway. Um, but yeah, so if I, you know, get this out of here, then I can put a, you know, curtain rod up here or, you know, clothes rod. And so I can actually hang some clothes in here, just give it a little bit more room since I did take, you know, originally there was a cabinet that went from here to here, but I took that out because I'm going to put a, a cubic mini mounted in here that I got. So anyway, some more drawers that I had finished. Um, I had just finished painting all these cabinets and I still have to stain them on the corners, the brown color like all these ones and get them up there. And I did find some more drawer pull or the, um, little hangers or whatever, you know, so it stays up. Found some good one of those at the Habitat store. So yes, those are the ones we'll use. But that's where we are for now. I don't want to put the flooring in yet. I have it. I just don't want to put it in yet until most of the other stuff is uh, set up. And what I think I need to do is put some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, butyl tape behind this door here and seal it up. Cause I did just kind of mount it. But you can see when it does rain it it leaks through here um, so we gotta get that sealed up because the rains are coming but anyway just a quick update hope you enjoyed